this morning I have watched Amaka's eviction video over and over and over again and I still get goosebumps I'm still not over the shock of Amaka's impromptu immediate eviction last night guys it shook a lot of the viewers of this show and you know Amaka is not that bad to be very frank with you she's not that bad she's just one of those housemates participating on the show that made a lot of bad decisions all in a bid to enhance her game. And guys, we can't really blame her 100% because most people that have been evicted already, they also made a lot of bad decisions. The only difference between Amaka and those people is um, hers were very, very obvious. Hers were very, very conspicuous, like overly, overly conspicuous, right? Hers left a lot of people, you know, shocked at the things that came out of it. So um, on this video, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the unofficial reason that Amaka got evicted from the show impromptu, all right? I mean, to the best of our knowledge, we are all aware of the official reason. For those of us that are not aware, I'm just going to quickly, you know, reiterate again. I mentioned it on my previous video, but you probably missed it. So I'm going to go ahead and share again. So Amaka got the most number of nominations from last night's nomination process, all right? Last night was a special nomination process that resulted in an impromptu and immediate eviction, all right? A lot of people have argued that, oh, what if it was Sheds? What if it was Fina? What if it was Bella? What if it was, um, you know, those strong contenders in the game? What if it was them? Would um, the organizers have allowed them to be evicted like that? Or oh, they would have probably created another twist, you know, to tone down the effect of that special show that I wanted to put up last night. But guys, the truth is, to the best of my knowledge, it would have been anybody. Yeah, it would have been anybody. And no matter what people think happened last night, you see the top three housemates or the top four housemates that had the most number of eviction nominations last night, guys, they all have a backstory. They all have a backstory of beef. They all have a backstory of animosity with their fellow housemates. Also, there's an argument out there that um, Doni and Amaka were supposed to be evicted last night by virtue of the fact that they both have the same number of nominations. But guys, let's all remember that Doni's last nomination came from Deji. Deji is a fake housemate. And we all know that in as much as the fake housemate or the writers share and enjoy the same privileges as the real housemates on the show, when it comes to issues of nominations and evictions, their nominations does not really count in the grand scheme of things. And that was why Doing was saved last night, all right? Which left Amaka with the highest number of nominations of six last night, all right? Now, all of those reasons I have given, that is the official reason that Amaka was evicted from the show last night. Now, the question is, do we all know the unofficial reason that Amaka was evicted from the show? I doubt, you know, I understand that we're all in our feelings. I am in my feelings. I feel really, really bad. I feel really sad for Amaka as well. And I hope that she's well and safe wherever she is. However, I feel like for a second, we should get out of our feelings, you know, and come to terms with some of the harsh realities that contributed to Amaka's impromptu and immediate eviction from the Level Up Mansion last night. All right, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing on this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. Um, I know that you all are wondering what my mic is doing on my neck. Guys, it's a long story. It's raining outside and it seems as though this mic cannot really pick up on my voice all the way from down here and that's why it's here. So just ignore the mic and focus on the speaker and the message, okay? Now, um, let me just officially welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. You are welcome back. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory, and I am the girl with the tea. So if you're new on here, please kindly do exactly what you see on your screen because that is one of the easiest and fastest ways 
that you'll be able to receive a lot of my videos whenever I upload a new one. Also, if you're looking for that space where you'll be able to get the most detailed, factual and accurate analysis of reality TV shows, movies and trending social topics, this is where you get all of that. Now, all of that said, let's quickly get into the video. So first off, if we are being honest with ourselves, one of the first real reasons Amaka was evicted from the show was self-sabotage. That's the number one factor. Self-sabotage. What do I mean? Amaka really, really lacked self-validation. Yeah, she really lacked that. And as a result of that, it pushed her into making a lot of bad decisions. Yeah, I'll take it step by step. There was the issue with Fina that involved Groovy, right? Amaka reacted the way anybody would react, any normal human being would react. She was hurt, she felt betrayed, she felt belittled, she felt rubbished on national television. So she, she reacted the way anybody would react. How? You know, by feeling all of those things that I've just mentioned. But the question is, did she make do of that situation? Did she handle that situation the right way? In my opinion, I do not think she did. But in a bid to probably, you know, unbottle all her pent up emotions, right? Or probably to make new alliances, as I said, she started sharing information that should not be shared with Chi Chi. Chi Chi is from the other level, guys. Now, what she did not know is that Chi Chi is a terrible gossip as well. Chi Chi has a dislike for Fina, you know? And so, sharing that information, Chi Chi had taken that information to her level and shared it with the wrong people. Yeah, people who decided to add extra spice to the gossip to make it enormous. Unknown to her, it was going to come back and backfire and that was what resulted in the scandal that happened on the very first day of the merger, yeah, of the two levels. She did not see that coming. She was actually shocked. It took her unawares because in her mind, oh, that was just an innocent conversation that she had with Chi Chi. But then sadly, when the whole matter came out in the open, she could not really defend herself. She did not have anybody to defend her. And even the only person that would have even stood to defend her, Fina, was actually the subject matter of that scandalous gossip. It was that same situation that led to the gang up that we all witnessed, I think on Sunday night after the live eviction show, yes, of Elo Swags, Chomzi, Bella, and um, what's his name now, Sheds. Yes, guys, it was very crazy because at that point in time, these people were looking for a scapegoat. Sheds was protecting his Bella. Ella Swags was protecting his intended girlfriend, Chomzy. And so they were all looking at scoring cheap points and they needed a scapegoat to take the brunt of all of their, you know, of all of their madness. And so it was a marker that Ella Swags decided to put on that altar of sacrifice. And that was exactly what happened. At the end of the day, what was the result? Amaka was labeled a chronic gossip. Yes, a very, very aggressive individual as enhanced by Adekunle's own contribution to the old drama. He wasn't really asked anyways because it wasn't his business, yes. But then, Amaka was labeled as such. Amaka was also labeled as unrepentant. An unrepentant liar. Guys, that was really, really sad for her. And so, standing from there, cast your mind back to the nominations of yesterday. You will see that Amaka gained two sworn enemies from all of that drama. Chomzi and Elo Swags. Elo Swags nominated Amaka, Chomzi nominated Amaka, and we know the reasons they nominated her. Elo Swags nominated Amaka because he felt like Amaka was going to sabotage his intended, that is Chomzi. Chomzi nominated Amaka because she felt that Amaka was going to expose her, you know, that she was protecting Bella. Now, the second realistic reason for Amaka's impromptu and immediate eviction last night was the need for a ship. In my frank opinion, the ugly need for a ship led her into her woes, led her into bagging two more nominations from Giddy Fire and Dotu. And I'll tell you how. Guys, from all the events that I talked about already, yes, it all accumulated into pushing her to thinking that being in a ship, you know, would give her the much needed validation that she needed about herself. Amaka is a very, very confident woman. She's very beautiful, beautiful skin, beautiful banging body. Her self-confidence is really on a very, very high level if you ask me, yes. But the way she carried herself made it look like she was desperate for a ship. Of course, she had always set her eyes on Giddy Fire from the Saturday night parties, yes. But it did not just spring up out of nowhere. 
It sprung up from what she was seeing around her. There was Beauty and Groovy doing their thing. There was Khalid and Daniela <laughs> knocking every night right beside her bed. That, you know, that put her into a sexually frustrated mood in that house. That made her feel alone. That made her feel like she really needed someone in her life, you know, to make her complete in that house. Then talking about the game, it also made her feel like she needed to be in a ship to enhance her game and then there was Fina's betrayal and Groovy's rejection guys in as much as she tried to hide her feelings she could not really handle it well and so she felt like the best form of healing was to throw herself in a sheet and that was how she ended up with that irresponsible giddy fire in that house when i say irresponsible guys i'm describing the personality that giddy fire is showing to us on the show that guy is highly irresponsible very very unfocused very very Confused. A very, very confused human being. Yes. Imagine one person being in a square, not even a triangle, misleading and leading on three different ladies at the same time, telling them, oh, we are just vibing. What the hell does vibing even mean? But then you can't really blame Giddy Fire because Amaka had all the red lights. She had all the red flags. She had a friendly advice from Diana, who had actually warned her ahead of time that this is who this guy is. But then she decided to test the waters by herself to learn her own life's lessons. But sadly, those lessons resulted in her eviction. Yes, as Giddy Fire in a bid to protect himself, to protect his ugly moves in that house, he put her up for eviction. Yes, hoping that, oh, once Amaka is out of the way, then I can breathe with both Diana and Rachel. And that was why he nominated Amaka. And then talking about the reason Dotun nominated Amaka, guys, it's very obvious. Dotun is friends with Giddy Fire. And so Giddy Fire had been spreading the talk around the house, telling people about how Amaka is a chronic liar, about how Amaka is trying to sabotage his game, about how Amaka is trying to set him up. And so Giddy Fire by himself had planted a seed of discord, you know, in the minds of the people around him against Amaka. And that was what resulted in Dotun nominating Amaka as well. And then the third and final realistic reason Amaka was evicted from the show last night is the lack of of self-control yeah the lack of self-control earned her two nominations from Adekunle and Brian yeah first off the gang up that happened with Brian Modella and Daniela would never have happened if Amaka had had that self-control to stay in her room and not involve herself in that conversation that happened last night guys what does that tell you it is not every argument that you involve yourself it is not every comeback that you try to give. It is not every altercation that will earn you, you know, proper premium points. No, some altercations will end up dragging you in the mud like the pig that the other person is. And that was exactly what happened to Amaka. Frankly speaking, if Amaka had resisted the urge to shalaye, if Amaka had resisted the need to seek validation from every single person in that annoying black room on that fateful night, then trust me guys, that unnecessary altercation would never have happened. The way it happened guys, she was desperately trying to make her point. Self-control, if she had it 100%, would have pushed her out of that room straight to bed and straight to sleep. Nobody would have heard Amaka's voice. Amaka wouldn't have experienced the emotional and the mental meltdown that she experienced in the early hours of that morning. Amaka would not have made Brian a sworn enemy. Guys, all these factors added together, it made Brian desperate to kick her out of the house. And that was why he nominated Amaka. Why did Adekuli nominate Amaka? He felt like Amaka lacked self-control. He felt like Amaka was very noisy, very argumentative. And then Amaka ate his fish. <laughs> very petty reason guys to be very honest very petty reasons yes she should have asked who owns the fish but then she had taken the fish from the fridge where adekule had kept it and had cooked it to eat so all of these factors added together guys i know a lot of you will say that oh glory they don't make sense no at the end of the day it's a game yes guys i understand to be very honest as well nothing makes sense in biggie's house if we think about it yeah because these housemates they are there to compete and in the in the guise of competing they, they do a lot of unthinkable things. They do a lot of things that sometimes does not even have any sense of reasoning attached to it. But then what happens guys on the long run? On the long run, it is that housemate that is able to read the room. That housemate that is also able to study 
their fellow housemates, you know, know when to come out and when to crawl back into their shell that ends up winning the show. Look at it from season to season. Look at all the housemates that have been winning. You will see that they all have one thing in common self-control anyways ladies and gentlemen i do not know it all or what i have mentioned on this video they are just my frank observations all right and i am not saying that this is 100 percent a fact this is my opinion so please just go ahead and share with me your own thoughts about all what i have said or just let me know you about what you think is the real reason amaka was evicted last night share with me in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another video soon have an amazing day bye